Shades Daughter. On the mic, I am known as Shades. And I took a look at the first video that I made and realized that. So this one should not have the bar. It should just be the full screen of the video as I'm playing Tom Clancy's The Division 2 by Ubisoft. Um, the other thing that I found out was there was one place during the last video where there was like this little skip and um sorry about that I had to talk my mic for a second anyway there was a point where there was just like a little skip kind of like that one only it was glitchy but it didn't really affect anything other than just my character following somebody so it's not too bad but I am going to be watching the videos for more stuff like that and here we are back in the game. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is make the base of operations wait while I change my attire a little bit. How is she looking this? That's what my dude wears. But I think I want the denim jacket. There we go. The worn denim jacket. And I had a pair of good jeans that should go with those. There we go biker pants. Inspect character. Turn around. These controls are kind of hard to sort out. Getting just the look you want. But it does give you a really good look at the character. I like it. Okay, yeah, that tat does look really good with that jacket. I like that. Just out a little bit. I'm glad that they got these jeans, because the ones that I really liked in the Division 1 was the biker jeans with the wrench hanging off the belt. And do I want my agent boots? Let's see. I think I want the hunter boots. Yeah, the hunter boots are good ones. And let's give her a couple of sample vials hanging off the back of her back. Yeah. Okay. That should... Oh, let's give her a throat mic too. Um. Turn the character around. So you can actually see the throat mic. Oh, almost forgot. She needs the different sunglasses. She needs the agent sunglasses. There we go. Now she looks like a Secret Service agent. Oh, wait. One of those didn't... Throat mic did not engage. There we go. Now it's equipped. Okay, now we can go deal with this situation at the White House. Now, on the way, I'm going to show you guys something here. You see that crashed helicopter in front of us? Just the other side of it, there is a yellow box hanging out of a tree. And from that box, you can get a dye pack. box right there. You cannot get this on a guaranteed drop until around level 10, I think it is. I've already got all of them, so it doesn't matter to me. But yeah, you'll you'll get gear every 24 hours out of that yellow box, and that's the best place to find the um, spray paints. I think, think it's the weapon spray paints that come out of there. Yeah, because I was looking for, I was looking for the black spray paint for my weapons. I was farming that box and a couple of other ones, which on my YouTube channel, Fantasine, I have a video that shows where there's about 10 of those boxes. Sure nobody, nobody? What about this person? Guess, guess I'm a nobody. Where is that person shooting at me from? One bullet. One bullet left. I hit that a lot where I end up with 
with just one shot left in my rifle. Agent, if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards. Something that frustrates me about this game is it's one of the games where your character is apparently mute. I wouldn't mind if they had managed to work in a little bit of dialogue, at least in the cutscenes for my character. But that would have required quite a few different voice actors doing the same voice lines. I don't think this stuff's toxic. Whoa, I didn't want to go down here though. Whoops. This children is why you do not put parkour on. I will blow that up if you don't stand up. Next. So many idiots to choose from so little time. Come on, put your head back up. I dare you. Double dog dare you. Uh, he's no fun. You don't take dares from snipers, dude. It's not when they involve putting your head up above cover. someone. I knew if I stepped out there they would show themselves. That can be a dangerous way to find the NPCs. Okay. Now there's no one else. Once your armor bar reaches bonds, it's a pretty good indicator that you've got them all. Dudes, you want to put out the fire? Thank you. He was actually putting out the fire, too. Cool. <laughs> I'd missed that before. And there we are at the base of operations. The White House. Uh-oh. I am missing my salute emote. One second. I need an emote. my salute. There's my salute. Okay. Go take care of talking to these guys and then I think I'll probably call this video a finished video. like a month to get the game downloaded finally so I was really late getting into this actually being able to play the game but I have been enjoying it ever Welcome since it's awesome Man, I run comps. I'm guessing the division alert brought you here damn glad to see you let me show you exactly how screwed we are Ever since the JTF imploded, that shrug looks a lot better on a male character than it does on a female there are character. There main factions, and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the like network went dark. Um, you have toys scattered across the board. <laughs> she's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, 
He's, he's, he's just a child at heart. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. He's, he's claiming that he's using those toys as markers on the map. But I think he's just using that as an excuse to sit down and play with them every once in a while. Okay, talk to the quartermaster. First thing I way, need to do head is... Downstairs and check in with the quartermaster. Oh, can get you set I don't have... I don't have my ruthless and lockbox. That's okay. Didn't use it much anyway. I don't like the way that it fires. The... It has a pop up, pop up that throws the barrel up a lot. And I need my drone. Give me my drone. I use the drone a lot. In the Division 1, I was always running with the drone and the turret, or the drone and the little rolly balls. In this one, it's mostly the drone and the turret, or the drone and the hive. Oh, yeah, I need to unlock that weapon slot. So I can't just tell it to go away. Okay. Next, next, next. You can read all this when you unlock this stuff in your game. It's just telling me stuff that I already know about how to get around in the game. And now I've got a mission that is going to send me over to the theater settlement over here. And that will be what I do in the next video. But for now, I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Shade's Daughter. Take care and have fun in whatever game you're playing.